November is Diabetes Awareness Month. According to the CDC, more than 34 million people have diabetes, but even more Americans have what is known as pre diabetes. And so there are now new recommendations for screening. Dr. Frank Me George here with a closer look at who needs to be screened. Doc? Yeah, Devin. So in the U.S., more than 88 million people, that's one in three Americans, have pre-diabetes. But unfortunately, only about 16% of them even know they're at risk. And over a few short years, pre-diabetes often becomes full-blown diabetes, which is more difficult to treat and ultimately deadly. Screening early makes sense. Diabetes is on the rise. Obesity is on the rise. We're seeing diabetes is in much greater incidence in our youth. So it's extremely important to diagnose early so that we can improve these health outcomes and prevent people from having the complications from diabetes. In an effort to diagnose both diabetes and prediabetes earlier, the U.S. Preventative Services Task Force recently lowered the age to begin screening from 40 to 35 for those who have obesity or are overweight. That means people with a BMI over 25. Diabetes starts to increase in incidence around age 35, and that's part of the reason the screening age was lowered. If left untreated, diabetes can lead to blindness, may affect kidney function, damage nerves, and cause erectile dysfunction. So it's best to diagnose and treat it sooner rather than later. If you catch it early, it's, a, it's very important because it can help prevent uh, these complications from getting worse or getting to a point where they're irreversible. So if it's too late, you know, we can do the best we can to improve blood sugar, but sometimes some of the damage, for example, to nerves it, it can be irreversible. Diagnosing earlier will help us prevent that from happening. Now, the easiest form of screening is to have a blood test called a hemoglobin A1C done. If it's increased, that indicates a person's blood sugars have actually been above normal for a while. Good news is studies clearly show lifestyle interventions that focus on diet and physical activity can prevent progression to full-blown diabetes. Good to Back know to we can do something about it. Exactly right. All right, Doc.